What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to your back again once again, and today, today we are here for episode number thirty-four of our brand new Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we were here in Lavender Town and we took on the one and only Morty and his Mega Gengar. If you missed out on that, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. It was a phenomenal battle, if I do say so myself. The last two episodes have had some incredible battles. If you missed out on them, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. In today's episode, we are going to begin our ascent of the Lavender Tower, uh, the Pokemon Tower, whatever you want to call it. We have our Silk Scope in hand, and we're ready to get the fuck up there and move on because we got encounters to have and battles to get done. So if you guys are hyped for some more Pokemon Radical Red, Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke, and of course, if you'd like to show your support the Prime that'd be nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you're all ready. No! Your support is greatly appreciated. Now, since the last episode, we took on Morty last time, um, and I mentioned that the Pokemon Tower has five mini-boss battles in it. Now, I did start team building for all five of those mini-boss battles, because in my mind, I don't know where I got this from, I thought, oh, let's just do one big episode. One big episode where we take on the Pokemon Tower, and then I thought, oh, like, as I was team building, I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, wait, no, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, time out. I started team building for five different battles, like the whole box. Spoilers, Tyrantrum might be involved, um, but I don't know. I, I, I felt less and less confident that I was as I was going, and I was realizing, like, if I were to try and slap all this together into one episode, you know, we have to have five planning sessions, five mini-boss battles. Like, no, it's, it's doing too much. And on top of that, I don't know if you noticed in that box there, the Mons got more sparse the lower we went that's because we're reusing mons from previous teams so god forbid let's say we say oh yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna go in this tower and do all these battles today and we end up losing two or three mons you know to keep from losing the game then i have to stop and re-team build and so i'm not gonna do that so what we're gonna do our plan moving forward is we are going to a get our lavender tower encounter um, B, i'd like to see if they have a raid den in there which we'll do that before our encounter um, we have a mini boss battle that we need to do today, um, as well as, uh, we're going to do two mini boss battles. One of them is kind of, I don't know, you call it one and a half battles, 1.1 battles. The Marowak that is in the tower is considered a mini boss. I'm including that in the five. Um, but it is not just a regular Marowak. Trust me when I say Trust me when I say it is not just a regular Marowak. So that's what we're going to focus on today. And on Wednesday's episode, we're going to do the top floor of the tower, which has not one, not two, but three Rocket Grunt mini boss battles. And let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you, <laughs> there are some pretty serious battles, which in all honesty, I think deserve their own time their own attention and we don't need to try and rush through these or this or that or whatever and plus as i was team building like i said it was there's some these are probably like the toughest rocket battles we have had yet aside from giovanni these motherfuckers at the top of the tower are playing no games so yes we are going to good thing i've already started team building for them so that i can put more attention into team building for them next instead of trying to rush five battles into one episode. So, today's episode, we are going to get our encounters, maybe, plural, our encounters. We're gonna take on the first mini boss battle in there, which is a doubles battle, by the way. Hmm, scared me shitless. Uh, and we're gonna take on that Marowak, because that Marowak is a bitch. Um, but, up first, a Marowak is such a bitch, we have our own separate team for it. <laughs> This is the part of the episode where we get a quick team recap. Up first, ladies and gentlemen, we are bringing our boy Tabasco. Our level 56 Magna Zone, holding the magnet, modest nature with sturdy rock and thunderbolt, volt switch, flash cannon, and thunder wave. Up next, we have Felix, our level 56 Rhyperior. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Felix is not correct at all. You know, I just sat here and did this. I got everybody good to go. And you know what? I think what ended up happening is I think um, he was a little bit of a last minute ad. Kind of, sort of. Not really. Um, but yes, you go ahead. No, I don't want to use it. Give it, you jackass. 
God damn. So maybe we just didn't get his shit fixed quick enough, but easy enough fix. We have Felix, our level 56 superior, holding the citrus berry, adamant nature with solid rock, rock and earthquake, brick break, rock slide, and mega horn. Up next, we have Ginger, our level 56 adamant citrus berry holding Luxray with intimidate, rocking zing zap, fire fang, crunch, and sucker punch. Then we have Gloria, our level 56 Galissapod holding the Silver Powder, Adamant Nature with Emergency Exit, rocking First Impression, Liquidation, Leech Life, and Sucker Punch. Up next, we have Big Grime Dog, our level 56 Muck holding on to that Citrus Berry, Adamant Nature as well with Poison Touch, rocking Poison Jab, Brick Break, Crunch, and Knock Off. Up next, we have Sirius, our level 56 Grim Snarl, Jolly Nature holding on to that Citrus Berry with Prankster, rocking Darkest Lariat, Sucker Punch, Play Rough, and Thunder wave now for our second mini boss battle we're gonna be holding on to our riparian felix and ginger here um but we're going to be swapping everybody else out for ezekiel our level 56 gyarados holding the walk on berry impish nature with intimidate rock and aqua tail iron tail crunch and dragon tail then we have greta our level 56 Maw Wild holding the Shucka Berry, Impish Nature with Intimidate, Rock and Play Rough, Iron Head Crunch, and Sugger Punch. Then we have Fred, our level 56 for Ralligator holding the Walk On Berry, Impish Nature with Sheer Force, Rock and Liquidation, Flip Turn, Aqua Jet, and Rock Slide. And last but certainly not least, we have Lamar, our level 56 Primarina holding the Walk On Berry, Relax Nature with Torrent, Rock and Sparkling Aria, Ice Beam, Moonblast, and Aqua Jet. So now, do you get it? When I say that that Marowak is not any just regular fucking Marowak, yes. Did, did you see what each of them are holding? <laughs> ah, we are here to try our best today. That's all I can say. Whew. Okay, so we need to head up in this bitch. I want to make sure that our infinite repel... No, I want to enable it. We want to make sure our infinite repel is enabled because I don't want to run into any mons until I can verify whether or not there is a raid den in here. Which, you know, normally I would say no, there's probably not, but it's it's is radical red, so I could see it very much so having a raid den in here. Um, but I also need to keep an eye out for this channeler. That's the mini boss that we need to go up against um, Which I feel like it'll probably probably be at the entrance to a staircase going upstairs or something do they still You think it's this one? <laughs> uh, you think it's this one? <laughs> All right, well Let's go ahead and uh, walk with me over here. Uh, go ahead and take a peek. Take a peek. Take a peek at her team. Yes, she has a pin kerchin and a grim snarl. Two mons that we have. Oh wow! Um, go ahead, take a gander at her squad. Let me know who you think her most threatening mon is. Let me know in the comment section below. Damn, I feel like I feel like this is not her. I feel like this is not hurt, but we're not going to take any chances. We're not going to take any chances here at all. But yes, let me know who you think her most threatening mon on the squad there is. Uh, and let's get into it. Let's get into it. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. So, I originally team built for this on Saturday. I was just sitting here. We had some company coming into town, and I didn't have a, a little. I didn't have enough time to record or edit anything, so I was sitting here just team building as we went. Um, and initially, I guess I made this team like it was a singles battle. And then this morning, I sat down to record Radical Red, and I had uh, exported everything because I, I told you I made five fucking teams. And when I sat down to team build, so I couldn't just leave them all open, you know. I had to save them, so I exported them. Imported everything back in and immediately pull this bitch up and it says doubles and I'm like What wait that changes everything our team that we brought today doesn't look anything like the team that I originally a team built for this I think a zoomerol was a part of it or something like that, but just wasn't gonna work out um, So anyways, we have this pink kerchin, which honestly is a problem the pink kerchin and the grim snarl um, the pin kerchins uh, creates the electric surge, which activates the electric seed on the drip limb and the Cresselia as well. 
Um, it's a little aggravating to deal with this pink kerchief because of its typing. It has rising voltage, so if I want to bring our ground type, it's just going to click bouncy fucking bubble, which it's just like, what the fuck? Come on, work with me here. Actually, now that I'm thinking about that, no, I should change this. I should change this to a Pasho Berry. How did I not think of this? So when I initially sat down to team build for this, I was... Um, I had originally brought Felix the Rhyperior and I thought no wait that Grimmsnarl is there because it's doubles and I really really focused in on the fact that he's prankster light clay with reflect and light screen so like there, there's a whole evolution to this team build because like you got to remember like I said it started with a I got to change this Pasho Berry I got to remember that it started with a 1v1 team build and then I changed it so I had to go so like initially I tried to fit our original team build into this no into this new doubles build and I had just focused down this grim snarl so much because it's like I don't want light screen up I don't want reflect up the drift limb has calm mind the Cresselia has calm mind the poltegeist has shell smash like I ju I'm just not interested and stored power like, I'm j I just don't want to fucking deal with that, you know what I mean? So I really wanted to get rid of or prevent this Grimmsnarl from using Prankster. So initially, I brought Sirius our Grimmsnarl, made him timid nature, we outspeed their Grimmsnarl, and I, I was going to click Taunt because Grimmsnarl, Grimmsnarl gets Prankster Taunt. And I was like, okay, I'll taunt them turn one. Then I started stressing, what if he clicks Spirit Break? So then I had to use a Roselli Berry and all this. And I did all of this team building, all of this planning based around like turn one, I'm gonna taunt their Grimmsnarl. And wouldn't you fucking know, Grimmsnarl doesn't learn taunt in this game because we're playing on hardcore. He does get taunt by level up, but not our Grimmsnarl. So the entire strategy I had made, I had to rebuild for this a third fucking time. So that's why Rhyperior, he's a very last minute addition, Felix. I was, I'm. And my head is going to work, but it's a good thing I caught that Pasho Berry because my plan here, turn one, we have Pink Kerchin on the field, Grim Snarl on the field. I can't stop him. I cannot stop him. We don't get anyone who is a faster prankster that gets taunt. I can't stop him from clicking one of those two. So my plan here is to lead with Tabasco or Magnazone and Felix or Rhyperior. We are clicking Discharge and Earthquake. Turn fucking one. Now, the Grim Snarl, that makes it 50-50. Is he going to click Light Screen or is he going to click Reflect? I don't think he's going to click Spirit Break or Darkest Larry on either of them. Uh, he doesn't do more than 40% to either of them with either move, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the Pin Kerchin, obviously the Bouncy Bubble could Oko our Rhyperior. That's why I wanted to slap that Pasho Berry on him just in case just in case um but i think the combination of the two should be enough to kill the pin kerchin um our magnet boosted magna zone only thing that would make it better is analytic but uh we can't make him that slow <laughs> um but thunderbolt has an actual chance to kill so even if he puts reflect up if the grim snarl clicks reflect earthquake will still do enough obviously to the pin kerchin to kill if they leave it in a pin kerchin has spikes that's the biggest most aggravating part about that is I want to kill it because I don't want any spikes up and I don't want him just clicking rising voltage and getting like 80% off on anyone across the team like no just not interested not interested not interested um, we're a solid rock but like I said I don't think he's gonna click an electric move anyways um, and plus the lighting rod we don't need shit with it <laughs> we don't need anything it's the only uh, mod on their team here we're gonna go ahead and just try to kill it turn one and get rid of it. Um, the Grim Snarl is either going to click light screen or reflect um, and set it up. That's why I got rid of Hammer Arm on our Rhyperior. We slapped Brick Break on him instead. It's going to be difficult to click Brick Break. I know this. Trust me, like I said, I was trying to out prankster the prankster because of how difficult Brick Break is because it has a Drift Blim and a Poltegeist. If they're both on the field at the same time, I can't Brick Break them. And Light Clay is what, seven turns? I don't even want this battle to last seven turns. So that's an issue in and of itself. So hopefully at some point or another, we can click Brick Break, maybe even on turn two. If they send out the Drift Blim, the Cresselia, or the Poltegeist, they can't really hit Felix with anything for big, big damage. 
Um, so if on turn two he's gonna click light screen or whatever else, you know, it's almost like I'm letting him set it up so that we can break it down. Um, after that, we're gonna click, I guess, discharge again, discharge and brick break um, to break the screens and then discharge whatever is on the field. Um, if we can, if they send out the drip limb for whatever reason, discharge is gonna do great damage to it. Um, but the Cresselia and the Pulte guys, to be honest, they both can get fucking paralyzed for all I care. Um, they also limited how many mons can learn Toxic. I had Toxic on almost every single fucking mon on our team because, you know, you only need one or two moves to deal with a squad like this. Um, so I was like, fuck it, slap Toxic on there. Fuck it, slap Toxic on there. We're gonna click Toxic on this Cresselia. We're gonna click Toxic on this Pulte guys. We're gonna click Toxic on this Drip Flame and then Bolt Switch out. You know, it's just... Wouldn't let it happen, so we had to move stuff around. But anyways, yes, that's our turn. That's our turn. That's our plan for the pin in turn one. I'm gonna give him a Pasho Berry. Um, actually, no, maybe that's why we didn't Pasho Berry, because we're planning on outspeeding this thing and killing it turn one anyway. So I'm not gonna swap to the Pasho Berry. We're gonna leave Felix with his Citrus Berry because Felix outspeeds the pin in and so does Tabasco. So the combination of the two should be enough to kill the pin in If it does not. I'm gonna be shocked. <laughs> I'm gonna be shocked because, like I said, the answers and the numbers, I'm going off the numbers. When it comes to the Drift Blim, obviously, uh, Felix is there. He can take one or two hits, maybe, um, and Rock Slide is gonna do decent damage to it. Um, but that is why we have Ginger here. Ginger is our Luxray Zing Zap. Um, this is with plus one defense because it has an electric seed. Um, I know you can't see that right now, but there you go. It says unburden, um, which, fuck it, give it some burden. Doesn't matter. We're already planning for it to outspeed us. It already outspeeds us anyways. Um, but I gave it the plus one from the electric seed. Um, Zing Zap does 62% min. So it's like, do what you want. <laughs> do what you want. Like, it doesn't matter. We click Zing Zap and then Sucker Punch. They would have to sit there and spam Calm Mine. And even then, we could still spam Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch and go ahead and knock it out. So we're not stressing about the Drift Blim too much. Uh, we could safely swap in. Uh, the Drift Blim would have to have like, what, three or four Calm Mines up to be able to make it so that we can't swap in. So not stressing too much over the Drift Blim. Um, when it comes to the Cresselia, we have so many options for the Cresselia. Literally our, almost our entire team um, can dish out damage on this Cresselia. It has Calm Mind, it has Moonlight, that's aggravating, but don't forget we have a Grim Snarl in the back. Click Calm Mind as many times as you want. It, it would have to click Calm Mind like five times for its Moon Blast to do, or four times for its Moon Blast to do enough to kill our Grim Snarl. So Grim Snarl, uh, I mean, um, Gloria Glissopod here. Uh, again, Electric C, but first impression will give us at least 36%. If the Electric terrain is gone by then because it doesn't say it's permanent just electric surge from the pin kirchen but if it's gone by then even better because then our first impression will do almost half guaranteed and then we click leech life we do more to it than it does to us sucker punch is sitting right there as well so we're not stressing between glissopod and grim snarl we should be good to go now when it comes to this pulte geist it is a little scary initially because it has shell smash um shell smash will up its special attack um, but even then with a plus two I mean this is adamant <laughs> we're not even specially defensive this is adamant we come in on anything it wants to do um, stored power doesn't matter to us um, HP fighting doesn't matter to us shadow ball doesn't matter to us we click crunch we click knockoff we obliterate this thing and it's gone um, so yeah serious our grim snarl he's more so here just for backup in all honesty, if, if a certain mon has too much uh, damage on it and we need to swap somebody out, these numbers are at plus two as well. Um, Sucker Punch just Oko's from full. <laughs> so, like I said, he's here for backup. He handles the Cresselia well. He handles the Drift Blim well. Um, we are... Oh, we're adamant. How fast is the... Uh, um... Eighty-nine. I'm gonna have to change this real quick. Ninety-seven. Darkest Lariat still Oko's. Sucker Punch still basically Oko's. Um, uh, I think we'll just go adamant. Fuck it, we're here now. 
I think we should be good. I think I uh, initially said it adamant because at this point, the Grim Snarl, their Grim Snarl should be dead. Um, it's a speed tie right now, but their Grim Snarl, so a little uh, Grim Snarl should be dead. Now, the smartest thing for us to do right now would be to go back and change our name. Let's just do it. Uh, like, I can't say it out loud and want to sit here and be like, oh. Wah, 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 wah. If I would have been jolly, then I would have outsped. Because, I mean, you never know what could happen. You can plan and plan and plan and plan and plan. And when you get into the battle, everything changes. But just like I do team recaps to catch whatever errors we may have, I like to go over the plan. Well, I like to go over the plan because I don't want anybody to say, what, what the fuck were you thinking? No, now you know exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> you know exactly what I was thinking. That's why. So, if this is Chandler Ruth, this bitch don't even want to speak. I should have known. I should have known that hoe wasn't going to talk to me. What the hell is that? Bitch, don't tell me. Don't tell me, Chandler Hope. Okay, get him out. Bye. Save the night. Don't have one of those, but I, I'm, I'm happy that I got it. I don't even have a Mega Ring to use it. Damn, I should have known homegirl on the first floor was not it. Why the fuck did I do that? Oh god, this bitch. Get this hoe out of here. You just wasted my PP. Um, but I was gonna say earlier is I hope that the healing floor is still here. That'd be dope. Not like I don't have a Poke Vial. Chandler Patricia? They have one fucking mod? Is it because they normally have a Ghastly? Is this Ruth? Chandler Laurel? Ooh, a Grim Snarl. No, 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 don't do this. Get that shit out of here. Elixir. Ooh. Oh, shit. Well, I know this isn't Chandler Ruth. Chandler Paula. A Great Ball. I know this isn't Chandler Ruth. How do we get played this badly? <laughs> I was just trying to be ready. This has got to be Chandler Ruth right here. Right before you heal to, this has got to be her. You can't dodge her. Wait, do I have my mon set up right? Felix is second, right? Felix is second, right? Oh my god, oh my god. Yes. Okay. I'm terrified! <laughs> um, so... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, we're gonna stick with the plan. Oh my god, we don't have this! <laughs> I'm so bad at this! I'm so bad at this! I know everybody was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Discharge. Oh my god, I can't click. We have sturdy. Yo, my wires are crossed. My wires are so big crossed. Team building for five months. What the fuck? I just sat here and talked about an entire strategy that I don't even have. I don't even have. Okay, so he light screened. We have sturdy, so we're not gonna die to the earthquake. What the fuck was I thinking? Okay, the Pulte Geist is out because, okay. Big swap, big swap, check it out, big swap. I'm gonna click Brick Break on the Grim Snarl. Check it out! Check it out! Shell Smash, hit him up! Shell Smash, hit him up! I'm clicking Brick Break, I ain't getting rid of that shit. I'm clicking Brick Break, I ain't getting rid of that shit. Oh, you bitch. Okay, so I'm clicking Crunch here. Wait, 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 wait. I need to double check this Pulte Geist. I'm pretty sure that we're still good to go here. 
it oh <laughs> <laughs> okay uh shadow ball has a chance to kill felix so grime dog we're clicking brick break on the grim snarl see and then i'm pretty sure the grim snarl is going to go to set up a move again if you're clicking shadow ball big dog we're going to go out to let's double check here we're going to go out to serious oh my god what am i doing brick break's going to kill the grim snarl though I knew it! I fucking knew it! I'm not letting you set these fucking screens up, dog. He shadow balled the muck? Insane! He just let me bring in my Grim Snarl for free 99? Insane! 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 So go ahead, pop your electric seed. It works for me. If it works for you, then it works for me. Um. I'm going to crunch the Pulte guys. Yo, wait, this scares me. Hold on. Hold on. Because when it comes to our Lolan Muck, so he can do another 37%, but this Drift Blim. Drift Blim's not touching us. He can air slash. I feel like he's probably going to click. Um. Uh, I feel like he's probably going to click actually no we're not gonna do that at all check it out this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do this is yo check out what we're about to do here we are show me who dies the most okay we are clicking crunch on the pulte geist and darkest lariat on the drift blim I knew you was gonna click calm mine I knew you was gonna go 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 knew you was gonna click call mine. Hidden power. I'll stop with that. Hidden power fighting. Get him out of here! Get his ass up out of here! You think we care about your call mine? Did you see his electric seed pop and um, burden boost? You think we care? Do you think we care about Shell Smash, Pull T, Geist? We do not care. Grime Dog and Sirius are in here. Yo, this is this is cruel. This is going to be cruel. This is going to be cruel. Calm mind all you would like. All that you would care to do. Do it. Do it now and in this moment. It does not matter. God damn. That's a fat duck, but it ain't fat enough. And we got <laughs> such. You don't let me use toxic, damn it! They won't even let our grind dog learn toxic. They just won't. Yo, I'm clicking sucker punch. Pop! What are you gonna do? Moon blast? Hoover? I don't think so. Yo, so that went phenomenally better than I thought. Holy shit! I was. I want you to know I was so fucking stressed team building about that because I was sat there and thought to myself. What if they don't even give a fuck about setting up screens? What if they sit there and just double team my uh, Grim Snarl turn one? A fucking rising voltage and a spirit break could kill. Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Heal my mons. I don't care if there's a little healer right there. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Shh. Oh, you don't want to fight? Yeah, heal my mons. Heal my minds up. Heal my minds up. Ah, ah. Heal my minds up. Heal my minds up. Ah, ah. So I'm still not seeing any raid den spots. Are you the the rotating raid den? I don't understand what that is over here. I'm still not seeing any raid den spots. Um, so I think we might just have to go ahead and say fuck it, and just go ahead and get our encounter. Unless we haven't gotten to it yet. Oh my lord! Yes. Thank you. Holy shit, thank you, yes. Oh my god. Do you know how many... Oh god. Do you know how many fucking times I have wanted Amon to use Will-O-Wisp so far and I have not been able to because I don't have the fucking TM? What this is over here? Why is it behind a rock? Tell me right now. Why is it behind a rock? Tell me right now! Um, so wait, hold on. Is this... 
is this the the this this is the Marowak, right? I don't know if it's different in this game, but hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We need to um swap our mons out here. Because we got through that first battle. Uh, but we need to do this in a certain order. Once you get, once you hear the plan, the strategy for this battle. <laughs> All I'm going to say is I really hope it works. I really, really, truly hope it works flawlessly for us. Um, but I need to see um, who, who do we have? Ginger and Felix. Ginger, um, I believe we need to make Ginger um, our... Where's Felix at? He is adamant. We need to give him a shuckaberry. I think he'll be fine with a citrus berry, to be honest. <laughs> I think he'll be fine. Um, and then ginger. We need to make ginger impish. Other than that, everything is the exact same for her. But we need to make her impish just in case. Um. So, we're going to go uh, run and do that real quick. That's not bad. That's not bad. One change real quick. I know we got to exit the tower, but hey. We'll go ahead and get our encounter on the way back up. Um, but, <laughs> while I'm doing this, if you guys want, you can go ahead and check out our second mini boss of the episode. Uh, which is this Poke Tower Marowak, which, um, if you happen to notice... Um, two things about this Marowak. Number one, wait a minute. We need to make you impish. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, and wait, you need to have a shaka berry, not a citrus berry. You thought I wasn't going to notice? Where's the shaka berries? There we go. <laughs> Imagine doing this for five different teams in an episode. Um, so yeah, hey, hey, who do you think is the most threatening mile on that team? <laughs> uh, anyways, this uh, Marowak, he has two things that stand out immediately about him. Number one, it says uh, Omni Boosted, which last time I checked, uh, Omni Boosted moves? I, it, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, aren't, isn't it like uh, Ominous Wind and Ancient Power moves that boost all six of your stats at once? So. Does that mean that he just has a plus one across the board? Um, not 100% sure, but it should be okay. Um, he has permanent misty terrain, which means he can't be status. And he can't be, I think misty terrain prevents a uh, priority too, I think. Um, so we can't put him to sleep. We can't paralyze him. We can't toxic him. Can't do any of that. Um, but most importantly, look what this fucking jackass has here. His ability is Bone Zone, which I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it up for you here. Bone Zone, Bone moves ignore immunities and deal double damage are not very effective. Isn't that about a bitch? So his Bone Meringue and Shadow Bone basically fuck everything up. You know, I initially sat down, I was like, I typed in Swallow into the damage calc, like, oh, this will be great. Give it a Wacom Berry. We'll be able to outspeed it, hit it with some damage. Maybe I can bring it in afterwards. Nope, 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 nope. Bone Meringue uh, and Shadow Bone. Shadow Bone especially absolutely rocks it. It makes immunities mean absolutely fucking nothing. So isn't that just great? Fucking Bone Zone. What do you know about the Bone Zone? <laughs> so luckily, only Cubone Marowak and Alolan Marowak get that ability, Bone Zone, which is uh, fitting. Seems to fit them very, very well. Um, but our strategy when it comes down to dealing with Bone Zone uh, Cursed Alolan Marowak here, Omni Boosted, is we're basically just going to intimidate the fuck out of it. We're going to lead with Greta, our Mawile, which uh, her Intimidate will go off and lower his attack down to normal. Um, and then 
afterwards we are going to hard swap immediately into our gyarados i'm hoping that if we leave with a steel type he's going to click bone meringue or fire punch in this case either or we take very very well um, of course gyarados is going to come in and intimidate him again lowering him down to minus two uh, he will take the bone meringue or the fire punch if it goes for it very very well um, after that obviously he's going to click thunder punch and that is why we have ginger our luxray over here who will then be swapped in to intimidate the marowak again lowering him down to a minus three his thunder punch will then do that much at that point he will probably click bone meringue again which hey guess what we have a gyarados who will take it very very well and at that point with another intimidate bone meringue is only going to do that much now what do you think he's going to click against the gyarados Thunder Punch? Oh, that's excellent! We're gonna go back into our <laughs> Luxray here, uh, who will intimidate him again and take him down to minus five. Thunder Punch is only gonna do 5%. And you know, the cycle repeats. We go back out again uh, at Gyarados this time. He'll be at minus six, unless he pulls off some cheeky off the wall play, which is why everyone has berries that weaken what's super effective against them. This is literally the only way that we can get past this Marowak because if we try to just fight it 1v1 it will do 80 90 percent to everything in the box it's going to uh two shot everything it outspeeds most things uh, like i said even things that outspeed it like our swallow still get bodied by it so uh, we have three intimidate mons sitting there i say why don't we fucking use it get this bitch down to minus six and then all we have to do is bring out felix at that point this motherfucker's minus six. We have a Shuckleberry just in case. Uh, but Earthquake is a two coat at that point. Um, just to have six Pokemon, I brought Gator and Primarina as well. Um, they're holding Wacom Berries so that we can take whatever. I mean, we can take Thunder Punch well enough. Um, but Sparkling Aria or Liquidation and Aqua Jet on either of them after that is there as well. So over prepping maybe mayhaps but uh, i'm not trying to get 6 would by one pokemon you know what i mean so fuck it be gone intruders look at this bitch right here look at this bitch right here i fucking love alolan marowak the opponent surround himself in a shrouded mist preventing them from being affected by status and stat reduction oh <sighs> It doesn't say anything on here about stat reduction! <laughs> what the fuck? For five turns, the terrain becomes Misty Terrain. During the effect, the power of Dragon type moves used against grounded Pokemon is multiplied by 0.5, and grounded Pokemon cannot be inflicted with a non volatile status condition nor confusion. Grounded Pokemon can be affected by Yawn, but cannot fall asleep from its effect. Camouflage transforms the user into Fairy type. Nature Power becomes Moonblast. Secret Power has a 30% chance to lower special attack by one stage. Fails with the current terrain is Misty Terrain. It doesn't say anything about you can't drop stats. And now all of a sudden I get into this battle and it says, oh, no, it's stats can't be affected. What? What the fuck? <laughs> so if I go out to Gyarados right now, intimidate. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. What the fuck? If I can't lower his attack, then we cannot win. It is foolproof at that point. If we cannot lower his attack, we cannot win. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? I'm gonna click Sucker Punch because why the fuck not? I can't go out to anybody else. He's gonna Fire Punch me. Uh, Felix. I'm glad he clicked Shadow Bone and not Bone Meringue. What the fuck just happened? Uh. 
I'm so confused. Thanks. Uh. Okay, I guess Ginger is dead. Um. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess Ginger is dead. <laughs> that was a good plan, right? <laughs> that was a good plan, right? Like, I was going... I, uh, yo. This has not gone at all like I had hoped or planned it to go. I didn't have Discharge on my... What the fuck? I didn't have Discharge on my Magnazone. I, it's a good thing I still had Sturdy because the Earthquake... I mean, we didn't die to the Earthquake because of the Sturdy. But, uh, what the fuck? Yo, this is what happens when I team build over the weekend and sit down Monday morning to record. Nothing is right. Nothing is the same. Uh, I, 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 I am very upset that Ginger is gone. Actually, that's a, I think that's a kind of a problem for our team building for the next couple teams. What the fuck? I'm looking right now at this because I saved our teams. Yeah, we had Ginger in one team in the next episode. What the fuck? What? 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 Am I crazy? Like, what the fuck? Like, I want you to see it. I want you to see what I see, okay? I read it earlier, but there is nothing there that says anything about you can't drop stats. Unless I, I'm I'm not looking at it correctly. I don't understand. I don't understand. That was a surprise to me. Um, and I don't know if we should have done that. Um, I clicked Sucker Punch just because I knew Earthquake would do like 60%. Um, but uh, what what if I'm if I can't if I would have just swapped ginger out the only way we would have done that successfully would have been to hit earthquake first and then come in and sucker punch because if he would have gone for a shadow bone i think ginger could have lived that like if we would have led with riparia not gone with the intimidate plan like i was talking about which if i would have if i would have known that i would not have done that at all to begin with I just want to say, <laughs> I would not have done that at all, um, but, wow, okay. Um, so anyways, um, I would have clicked Earthquake turn one and done the 59% minimum, right? Because, where's, where's Red Period at? I would have clicked Earthquake uh, and done the 69% minimum, and then I could have swapped out. I could have swapped out on the Shadow Bone, and I don't know, we would have to hope it doesn't kill. I don't think he's going to go for a Bone Meringue, but I would have, well, he might have gone for a Bone Meringue. I don't know. I would have had to have swapped out, and then the Sucker Punch could have killed here. But even then, yeah, the Sucker Punch would have guaranteed kill. I'm just thinking if I would have done it backwards in a separate order. But uh, that's so upsetting. 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 Uh. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm just not ready for the tower yet. I'm glad that I decided not to <laughs> do the entire thing today. Um, but that just means that we have a tall order waiting for us. On Wednesday, we are going to head to the top, tippity t t top, top of the tower. You know what? We never got our fucking encounter, did we? We never got our fucking encounter. Can you handle this? I don't. I don't know if you can handle this, Pinkerchin. I don't know if I if I go in here and I don't know. I don't even fucking know what our encounter could be. Yo, I'm grabbing you. You got Thunder Wave, right? I know you don't have fucking Toxic. Okay. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. There better not be a Raid Den at the top of the fucking tower. What? 
<laughs> um, but I'm gonna go higher up. Because I feel like it's probably like, uh, every floor is a... Actually, we could check it right now. Open that shit! So we have Coffin, Gyarados, Araquanid. Um, a Yamask, I would not be mad about. A Wooper, I would not be mad about. Uh, Dodrio. Hapini wouldn't be awful. We could work with that. Yamask, I would really, really enjoy. But let's see if it's different on each floor. This is not us using a Dex Nav encounter, by the way. We can, uh, the Dex Nav encounter is to specifically choose which mon, but, oh, it doesn't seem to change. Fuck. Um, but at the same time, um, we can't get species, so it's not like we can just get another Gyarados. Um,. So if a coughing Gyarados or a Raquinid pop up, we can't get them. Plus, I don't even know if we can use Dex Nav in here. Um, so fuck it. Let's uh no, I'm gonna check the last floor. Just in case. See if the Marowak floor is any different. Nope. Um, okay, so honestly, a Ranguru wouldn't be upset with mining. I do not want. That's the only thing here that I do not want. Please do not pop up mining. Every other mon, I feel like we can find a way to make it work. Mining. It's not happening, dog. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure. Magnazone. What's the move that he gets? Magnetic Flux. Raises defense and special defense of all allies with plus and minus by one. Ugh. Okay, turn it off. Let's see what we get. Lavender Tower encounter is <laughs> ah, don't tell me I can't fucking escape dog are you being for real fuck off dog what <laughs> tell me I can't fucking escape I'll take it I will gladly take it as a matter of fact come on buddy Away! Let's call you. Columbo! Everybody say hola to Columbo! You know we gonna get good work out of him with Damp 2. Oh, I wanna see somebody with Misty Explosion. Does that work on that? I don't know if it does or not. But very good. Yawn. Haze. Earthquake. Scald. We're only weak to grass. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. 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 Excellent work. Excellent work. So I do have teams. At least a foundation started for the next part of Lavender Tower. Um, next episode, we have not one, not two, but a three. Um... Bitch, put the repel on. Not one, not two, but a three um, mini boss fights to do. So we're going to get set up and make sure that everything is good to go and hope that nothing goes wrong. That's the only thing I can say. I really hope that nothing goes wrong. And we're going to clean this box up too and hopefully we will have a, a solid three teams here. Now that we uh, can move some of these other mons down, so <sighs> what an episode! What an episode! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not very happy with today's episode. You know, that first episode, I mean, that first battle, we were not really as prepared as we could have been. I mean, I know we still made it work, we still got out of it, um, but that Alolan Marowak, like, yo, that's so annoying. What, what the fuck? How, how did I not know that? How did I miss out on that fact? Like, I, I don't know. I am not confident enough in my knowledge anymore. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You can't lower his stats. You can't toxic him. You can't do anything but get fucked. How do you do that without losing a mon? How do you attack without losing a mon? You would have to... I would have had to have done, like, Soft Sand, Rhyperior, Turn 1, slam into him with that, and then I would have had to have predicted a Boomerang or something on our Luxray and was able to sucker punch him and kill him that would have been a tricky tricky battle but <sighs> rest in peace ginger i wish i would have known i would have never tried that shit anyways live and learn i guess 
Um, but we're gonna wrap up today's episode here. We're gonna finish up Lavender Tower on Wednesday. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Radical Red, and of course you'd like to show your support the problem of the night, be nice and make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And until we meet each other again, thank you so much for your love and light, and please be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye!